At the University of Plymouth, we understand that domestic politics has a really important impact on international politics and that the personal is very much political. Hi, my name is James Goulburn and I'm the Programme Lead for International Relations here at the University of Plymouth. At Plymouth, we offer a learning community where we don't just focus on um, developing your understanding, but really sort of try and hone in on your critical thinking and building a portfolio of skills that enables you to be part of the change. International Relations is a social science discipline that looks at how the world works. My name is Shabnam Holliday. I'm Associate Professor in International Relations at the University of Plymouth. I teach on our politics and international relations programmes. It looks at the relationship between countries, um, both within a region and also between regions. It looks at how international factors may influence revolutions or popular uprisings. It looks at the international dynamics um, involved in climate change and the policies that are created to address things like climate change. It also looks at institutions such as NATO and the UN and how they deal with different states. We focus on strong working relationships between staff and students. Um, you'd be working closely with academics who are research active in the field across your three or four years at university um, and with academics who sort of research and write about sort of topics as varied as domestic politics and voter turnout, um, the, the politics of the Middle East and North Africa or development programmes in Sub-Saharan Africa and even the EU. My name's Josh and I study politics of international relations just going into my second year. Every time I say to someone that I'm studying politics of international relations, they go, uh, oh, what an interesting thing to be studying at a time like this. And it really is because um, you really do see kind of the decisions that need to be made by world leaders um, and your national leaders. Um, and it puts a spotlight on them because whilst you're studying how best to um, you know, navigate things like international war or um, navigate third world country crises. You kind of get an understanding of what decisions you would make that are different to what our current leaders are making. Um, and that's what this course really equips you with, which is um, really fascinating. At the University of Plymouth, we give students the tools and the confidence to examine the events that they see on the news on a daily basis. So these can be issues such as what is the political impact of COVID-19? And these are issues that affect all of us. Um, also, why are there rivalries between some states, for example, in the Middle East? Why is there a constant rivalry between Iran and Saudi Arabia? And how is that influenced by other dynamics in other parts of the world? Also, one of the um, big areas that international relations looks at is why do we have war and why is peace not always achievable? We offer a wide variety of assessments in order for you to develop those skills and to build those, those sort of that portfolio of skills that you can take out into the wider world, whether that's designing your own political campaign, uh, writing blogs, taking part in simulations or even being assessed through um, work-based learning where you are um, actively out there in the world through internships or sort of working with members of parliament or working with non-governmental organisations and pressure groups. And we do all of that in Britain's Ocean City, in the heart of the South West. Um, we're voted one of the top 10 young universities by the Times Higher Education Supplement and we've also been voted Britain's friendliest city in a recent poll and we want you to be a part of that city. There's lots of different events that have happened. We've had um, kind of like talks from um, Marina Litvinenko, uh, the uh, wife of Alexander Litvinenko, who was assassinated in 2006. Um, and it was really interesting to hear like firsthand from that, um, her experiences of campaigning for justice um, and uh, I guess seeking what is right and uh, yeah, to hear that firsthand is exactly what I come to Plymouth to study for. We offer the opportunity for you to take part in exchange programmes and study abroad. So we have really close links through the Erasmus programmes with a variety of universities across Europe and through the International um, 
student exchange program with universities across the world, so North America, South America, Africa and Asia. Uh, and that offers you the opportunity to study for a year or a semester abroad. And we also offer field trips. Um, in the past, we've, we've uh, traveled to places as far as Sub-Saharan Africa, um, but have done trips sort of more sort of close to home, visiting The Hague and the International Criminal Court there, but also sort of going up to London and visiting the House of Commons and spending some time with MPs. We want you to be a part of the change. We want you to be an active member of our political world and I can't wait to welcome you here at Plymouth.